What's up guys, today we're gonna play around with particle system and collision. Select all the elements by clicking A, X and delete. Shift A on the mesh, I'm gonna add plane, S and move the mouse to make it bigger. And GX, I'm gonna move this a little bit and GZ in this direction and up. And I wanna rotate this, so click N and I got right here on the Y rotation. I'm gonna add a little bit negative value, something like minus 40. Now, this is my emitter, so I'm going to go on the particle system and click this plus. And I'm going to open the velocity, and on the normal, I'm going to add maybe 10 meters. If I'm going to click spacebar, my particles just fallen down 10 meters, yes, right here. I can increase the number of particles maybe to 10,000, and the lifetime maybe to 250, and the end frame 252. This is just to show you. So, this is normal stuff, yes. I'm gonna show you how you can apply some collision with those particles. So maybe I'm gonna add cube and GX, I'm gonna move this cube right here and GZ right here, yes? They're gonna collide right here in this area. Uh, and I'm gonna rescale this by S, Y in this direction. So if I'm gonna just space bar, nothing's happened, of course, those particles just fall in through this cube. But I can apply the collision on this cube. So I can select my cube and you want to go on this icon right here and choose collision okay and we're gonna unselect this uh, cloth and stickiness or whatever it's called soft body because it's not working the particles we got right here the particles so if i'm gonna just go uh, to the first frame i got some collision with my particles yes already and you got a couple of options that you can play around on this particle system on the collision right here on this cube yes or whatever object you want to choose so you got right here the first value and the first value basically if i'm gonna just add this to one all particles just going through the cube yes if i'm gonna just increase this to zero all particles gonna just bounce over the cube and maybe to 50 you got 50 percent chance that particles gonna go through and some particles gonna just bounce over as you can see so some particles just going through and some just bouncing around so this is the first kind of value is you got of course the stickiness i can increase this and those particles just gonna stick to the surface right here and they are bounce around uh, if they are falling down yes but first they are just get stick to the face to the collision so you can increase this of course and you can just turn this to zero if you don't want to have some sticky stuff yes on your collision you got kill particles so basically if the particle just gonna collide with the cube they're gonna get killed if that makes sense look at that so right here they are gonna get killed and some particles they are not colliding with the cube yes so that's why they are falling but those particles i'm gonna show you i can of course go on my emitter go right here on this icon and on the render right here i got the option uh show the dead right here and if i'm gonna just go and uh, click spacebar from the those particles just get killed yes like they are not having some effect on the collision i hope you get it so this is the kill particle uh, system on the collision right here right, right here so i'm gonna just enable the dead just to see because this is just to show you yes on the render right here you got the option so i'm gonna go back to the collision uh, and you got the dimping roundness and the friction roundness uh, i'm gonna just unselect this and you can play around right here so you're gonna have different effect on your cube so some particles just get stick and they are just flowing in different tempo right here yes so this is the friction and you got of course the roundness size so i can just increase this just to show you different effects uh, what is going on yes some particles just bounce around some particles just stick to the surface and just slowly uh right here falling down yes so you got the randomize option on the dimping and on the friction too. So I hope you get it how this works, guys. You can create some interesting shit, okay, with the collision system and with the particle system together. Use yes, and of course I can scale this or use different mesh, yes, different surface and different options right here. Maybe I'm gonna increase the right here, and maybe I'm gonna go 50-50 right here on this value and. I got this stupid effect and of course you can animate this by rotation maybe yes so i can maybe rotate this just to show you so you're just selecting this cube and click i and choose rotation 
on the first frame it's important well yes once again zero mistakes go on the first frame select the cube and i and rotation and you can just move on the timeline right here and r maybe y on this axis or y r x on this axis you can rotate yes on r axis if you want to have i'm going to rotate on the y axis so r y and i'm just moving the, my mouse a little bit to rotate this cube right here something like that and i right here and choose rotation keyframe and my cube just rotates and i got different effects on my particles yes i rotate this in the x direction too <laughs> my mistakes but i hope you get it how this works guys so we can create very interesting stuff using the collision system and particle system together i hope you learned something subscribe if you like this content like i said my mistake i just rotate this in the x and y direction whatever you can play around on this stuff subscribe guys Bye, guys.